Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Jets News Channel, where we bring you the latest New York Jets news. Today, I have some special news to celebrate our 600 subscribers. We have prepared an exclusive video series with the ranking of all the starting quarterbacks of the Jets since 1990. That's right, 29 players will be analyzed. But don't worry, in order not to interrupt our daily news, we will release an episode every weekend, focusing on a different quarterback. And don't forget to comment on the video. We want to know if you like this kind of content for the weekend and if you want more curious videos like these. Let's go. Oh, and if you are new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel because here I bring you daily news about the New York Jets, always firsthand. The New York Jets have struggled to find a consistent answer for the quarterback position for the past few decades. And hope is now pinned on the newly acquired Aaron Rodgers, hoping that he will finally solve the team's problems at this position. However, only time will tell if this will actually be realized. Since the days of the great Joe Namath, the Jets have struggled to find a quarterback who could help them win games consistently. The organization has gone through several failed quarterbacks, desperately searching for their next savior. In the last 33 years, the Jets have had an impressive 29 different quarterbacks start at least one game. And we thought it would be interesting to go back in time and rank each of these QBs, taking into account their performance with the Jets since 1990. And since it is the month of June, what else could we talk about, right? Let's dig deeper into this analysis and bring up some curious details. Starting in 29th place, we have Trevor Simeon. Now, let's not kid ourselves, Simeon is not the worst quarterback on this list, but his brief stint with the Jets puts him in this unattractive position. In 2019, he saw action in just one game, filling in for Sam Darnold, who was out with mononucleosis. Simeon completed just three passes for six yards before suffering a fractured ankle courtesy of Miles Garrett. That was the story of his brief, unspectacular stint with the Jets, which placed him last on our list. Leave your like and keep receiving the latest news about the Jets here on the channel. In the 28th position, we have Luke Falk. After Simeon's injury, Falk took over the position and didn't perform much better. With zero touchdowns and three interceptions on an average of only 5.7 yards per attempt, Falk failed to lead the Jets to victory in any of the three games he played in. During those three weeks, the team scored only 23 combined points. It was definitely a dark era for the Jets. And so, we begin our journey through the Jets starting quarterbacks since 1990. These first two positions already show us some of the challenge the team faced during this period. Stay tuned, as we will have more episodes in the coming weekends exploring the other quarterbacks who have played for the Jets. And don't forget to leave your comments on the video. We want to know what you thought of this content and if you would like to see more trivia like this. Thanks for watching the Jets news and see you next time.